Do you love breakdowns? Do you need stats? Do you crave insight? Download the All-Star app, UFC, Bellator, PFL1 Championship, and more. Ad-free, fully customizable. Download the best app in the business. Link in descriptions. For sure. Now let's go through this uh, these sequence of events, right, in the featherweight division. Because right now it's like kind of shaking up, right? Um, you got Volkanovski. Mm -hmm. He stepped into the cage in Abu Dhabi, faced off against Islam. Islam actually called for that fight. And Habib as well, he agreed with them, I guess. And they want that fight next because they want that pound-for-pound -pound status. Now they're talking back and forth like Islam is not signing the contract. But then Islam's returning and saying, because you never know what you can believe, right? With these Twitter battles, you never know, right? You never know. But do you feel like that fight's going to happen? That fight with Volkanovski and Islam? Yeah, no, I, I think it's going to happen. That's why Volkanovski was out in Abu Dhabi. That's, you know, he, he was the backup fighter. He was, uh, you know, into the cage. They, they brought him in the cage. I, I don't know. I can't remember the last time they ever did that in the UFC, right? Can you? I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe like a Brock Lesnar and something, but um, I, I think it's going to go down. Even before the fact, he was talking about they're going to Australia to fight. Are they fighting at the Marvel Stadium? No, they're that? fighting and, in, is, is in Perth. In, oh, in it's Perth. Okay. Stadium. Okay. So, yeah, I, I figured, you know, he was talking before he's either going to defend his 45 belt or he's going to go up and fight at 55. And then once Dana said that fight week that Volkanovski, no matter what, was getting the, the winner. I, I think I think he deserves it. You know what I mean? He's earned it. He's he's undefeated in the UFC. He's he's beat everybody. He wants to go up and try to get that champ chap status. And so I I think it will happen. And and I I think he deserves it. You know, once the back and forth started, you got Yair jumping in saying that you know he deserves the next title shot. But then when you if you look at the top five. You know, Yair is ranked ahead of you, but he has lost in his last five fights, right? Am I am I wrong about that? Yeah, I think he's like three, he two, lost and one match. or something yeah. in the last five five fights or or yeah. five years. Yeah, no, I, I, if I, I were going to plead my case, like out of the top five before Allen was in the mix and I was number four, I, I was number three for a little while. And then for whatever reason, they moved me back to number four and then you know, they just kind of play around with the rankings, but mm -hmm. I'm the only one in the top five on a winning streak. You know, I'm on a five fight winning streak. I beat everyone that I fought was in the top 10 or on a, you know, a, a streak before I fought him the next, this, the next, that. And I, and I beat him. Um, like going down the list, Holloway, he, he's still number one contender. I, I think he just has, it, it's, it's a tough puzzle to solve. Like I think just Alexander Volkanovsky has his number but he's on a losing streak. Then you have Yair who's ranked. He's on a one fight win streak due to an injury. And then you have Ortega. He's going to be out for a little because of that, you know, that, that shoulder injury that, that happened during their fight. And then it's me on a five fight win streak over the last, I don't know, five years or something, uh, four years, haven't lost a fight. You know, I've, I've won seven of my last eight and uh, it's like, I should be next, but the UFC doesn't think that. So, um, we'll see well max you can never i don't think you could put him in an interim fight the reason why i say no. that is not because i hate max he's one of the greatest of all time in that division mm -hmm. it's he lost three times to the champ so if he fights in an interim fight and wins what are you going to do volkanovsky max the fourth fight when you already lost three hey. times it doesn't make sense right they're doing it against uh moreno and figueroa <laughs> you know so who who knows but and, and of course, like you said, Matt, Max is one of the greatest of all times. And, you know, he's a fan favorite. So people would love to see that. You know, the, the Holloway fans get behind him. Of course, he has a huge support. But, you know, if he's lost three, then it would be for the four. So I, I totally get what you're saying. But I'm kind of joking over here, too. Yeah. Well, Moreno and Figueredo, they're different because they're one and one with the draw. So the fourth fight, mm -hmm. it does kind of make sense. It, it's the tiebreaker type of thing. And, and yeah, they were all the fights were very, very exciting. The Max mm -hmm. Volkanovski fights, maybe one of them was exciting. The other ones were clinics in a way, right? It was just like technical mm -hmm. battles. But like the third one, Volkanovski really showed level, right? Did, did, you, did you feel like he did really show the best version of himself in the third fight? Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I thought he showed it in the first fight. The second one was mm -hmm. super close. And then the third one, you know, he, he won. Um, yeah, and ha had a great game plan and stuck to it and, and had an amazing performance. 
Ortega, he's injured, so he's out of the picture. I believe he's like number three or something like that. Um, Yair, yes, his last fight was a win due to injury. The fight before that, he lost to, to Max. You do have uh, Arnold Allen, and then it puts you in a position where you can fight for the interim title. People are talking about that. I think, who else was Chell talking about it? There's people that support you, you know, in the industry, mm -hmm. like pushing for you to get the interim title shot because Volkanovski, if he does go up in weight, you know, the, the you know, the title is kind of tied up there, right? So Yeah, because if he does go uh, up, it's like the, the, the title will be tied up for an entire year. Because if he goes and yeah. fights in February, he's not going to turn around and fight in March. It's probably going to be International Fight Week in like mm -hmm. June or July. And so that'll be a year, you know what I mean? And, and they've done they've done interim titles three months after a champion's yeah. won in certain weight classes, four months. And so mm -hmm. now they're saying the interim title won't happen. That's it's it's a year. Like, come on, you know what I mean? Even Daniel Cormier, he's getting behind me. He's like, I I deserve it. I I should be next in line. Whether it's against this person or this person, I should be in the mix. Like, it's 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 clear as day to me. Um, but. Who knows? It's clear as day to everybody. Come on, Josh. Like, <laughs> we, like it's, it's, it's we like looked the at it. <laughs> yeah, the matchmakers. What is what are they doing? Like, like I in like if I think of like how to set the fights up, Yair, he's ready to fight. You're ready to fight, right? He's ranked ahead of you. He's number two, right? Max is not gonna fight for the interim title. Yair wants a title shot. He does have a win, you know, against Ortega. Mm -hmm. Why not? match you guys up in Perth as the co-main event underneath Volkanovski and Islam. That gives everybody enough time to prepare and get you right. And if something happens to Islam, maybe, then you got a featherweight title fight that one of you guys can slide in. Would that be a like a good best case <clears throat> scenario for that, that situation, you think, for the featherweight division? Well, yeah, I think... If I don't, I don't know as far as like going to, to Perth just because mm -hmm. those guys are fighting at 55, you know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's like if something were to happen, unless this was on, um, you know, more than a, a week's notice, if Volkanovski is coming down, would he, and he's prepping for uh, lightweight 155 and then something happened fight week, I don't know if he could, you know, get another 10 pounds off. Who, who knows? But yeah, it, it may work out. So I, I, I'm thinking anywhere since, you know, whether it be February or, you know, March, you know, mid-March, end of March, whatever it is, um, for whatever. I, I just want that that at least 12-week notice to prep. Who do you want, though? Like, it's got to be like a, you know, one, two, three. Of course, Volkanovski, you want him, but he's going to be tied up. So who's like, in your eyes, the next guy that would be the best case scenario fight for you? Honestly, it's between Yair or... Arnold Allen. So whoever it is, I, I really don't care as long as it's for the interim title. Um, I, I know there's a big card in London coming up the end of March. I was like, oh. if for some reason this doesn't pan out uh, between Yair and I, or he's going to wait for Volkanovski or whatever it is. Uh, yeah. Then I'll go to London and, and fight Allen in uh, the O2 center for the belt. There you go. There you go. I love that idea. Whatever right? it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that is, idea. Yeah. Go to his home home country you know he's he's undefeated in the ufc right in the featherweight division yeah. two streaks right two of the longest streaks behind uh volkanovsky right why not yeah. let's i would love to see that man that would be a, <clears throat> a great matchup right and and yeah for the interim title now what is what is the ufc telling you though because it does it's from like your mannerism it seems like you're not hearing the things you want to hear from them yeah no i i honestly I'm just kind of waiting. At first, it was going to be possibly in December. And then, you know, now they're talking the, the beginning of the year, but really don't have a, an idea yet. So, but I want to go, you know, so if I need to go up to 155 to fight, I'll, I'll just do that, you know, just, just because I, I came from there, I, I just want to fight, you know. Um, so if I got to go back up to 55, I'll do it. Otherwise, hopefully I hear something, you know, February or March and I can get ready for the opponent. What does the UFC say? They're like, all right, you know, we don't have a fight for you at Featherweight, so we're going to give you a 155 or like, they, are they open to that? No, I, I, I haven't even, I haven't even oh. asked them, but I, but I would, I've just been thinking about it, you know, and I, and I can, I can fight at 55. I can, you know, 
can go up and down too. Yeah, the holidays are the worst to be undecided, <laughs> right? Isn't it? Because like you kind of want to enjoy part of the holidays, but if you have to be ready, if you have to be in camp, then you could focus on that. And the holidays is not a big deal. But then it's like you're up in the air, which is like, <laughs> is it is it a little bit tougher for you? No, not not really. Just because I yeah. man, I I've, I I've wrestled my whole life, so it's like there's the wrestling season is right in the the bulk of the the holidays. It's from like August or September all the way till March. So it's like I, I was always in wrestling for, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, New Year's, like all through college. And then since I've been fighting for over a decade too, it's, uh, you know, I, I'm just used to it. Um, and, and I don't really care because, you know, I've, if I have a fight in the beginning of the year, say February or March, I can enjoy it. Um, I've had fights in December and January all, all over the place. So I, I just stick to my, my regimen, my, uh, my routine. And then I'll, I treat myself after, you know, I'll, I'll definitely make up for, uh, for lost food or the holidays. For sure, man. The pick is, <laughs> is much better than some extra. Yeah, exactly. I can enjoy cake, it right? with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This big steak dinners are much better than, uh, you know, uh, a ham on Christmas or something. Right. So, um, right. yeah, for sure. For sure.